Hi there, my friends. I'm getting my day started. I hope you're getting yours started as well. Take this day as an opportunity to encourage other people. It's one heartbeat at a time. Um, go around encouraging others with the encouragement that God has given you. So don't keep it inside. Don't keep the joy inside. Don't keep all the peace inside. Don't keep it. You know, you want to keep and hang on to what's yours, but you want to share it as well. But that's what I mean by that and that perfect love. We've got to be able to do that when we're reaching other people, when we're talking to other people. They need to hear it. They need to see it. They need to... Uh, you know, we might be that only person that day that smiles at them, that gives them a kind word when other people um, may be having situations going on in their lives. They can tell a difference between when we have a situation, how we react, and how others in the world react. That is what draws people, my friends. Beloved ones, that is what draws people, the love of God, the peace of God, okay? That joy of the Lord. They can tell. You know, people can tell. They can tell that we're different than those around us. So they're going to come to someone who's different. If, uh, you know, you survived a disease or you survived some type of sickness or you survived something, that is a lifeline to another person, okay? God gets the glory he doesn't get all of his glory if we just keep it to ourselves. So I'm speaking to me on this. I'm speaking to others. Okay. Hey, good morning, Miss Marion. We need to encourage and show the love of God because the love in the world has grown cold. But it's not just, well, number one, agape love. The world never had that. Okay. The world had human. <laughs> I think I'm back now. Okay. Hey, good morning. Good morning. I had to move a little bit in the house. Um, hopefully that will get situated. Anytime there's cloud cover, that's just how that goes. So, my friends, just encourage those around you. Draw the unbelievers. Draw other people. Or we're on fire. We're lit up by spending time with God. And so what I um, want to encourage you, my friends, to do is since we're on fire, there are many Christians who their love, perhaps it, it has been blown out by the enemy, circumstances and negative things that have happened in their lives, okay? We need to be the encouragement to light them back up, okay? We're individual matchsticks. When we get together, it's like a nuclear bomb that goes off. We are that, when I see the hills lit on fire by the Lord, well, it's twofold. One, the mountains in your lives, I speak that today, that every mountain in your life that has risen up against you has been totally annihilated, okay? Melted like wax, the Bible says, and it just runs away, and it's cast off into the depths of the sea, okay? Now, number two, the second part of that is when the mountains are lit on fire, you know what? At the top of those mountains for all to see, that is us. That is the people of God. We are the ones who are lit on fire. And it is our job, okay, if we're faithful, it's our job to light those around us on fire. How can we do that? The only way, my friends, any of us can stay lit on fire or even light others on fire is to spend time with the Lord. That's that kiss I've been talking about in this season. I keep telling people, God says his kiss is the strength to get any of us through any of our situations, our seasons, and life itself. What is that kiss? Well, in a marital relationship between a husband and a wife, okay, there is intimacy, right? And that intimacy is going to birth children. It's going to birth fruitfulness um, among themselves. Hello, a deeper fellowship and love and relationship with one another, right? And a godly family. Yes, we are different, Miss Marion. Well, the same way with Jesus. When we spend time with Father God, when we spend time with our Lord Jesus, who is also our husband, okay, especially us single ladies, you know, he is our provider. He is the man who rises up for us in his jealous, zealous love in protection, okay, and Holy Spirit. We have to spend time with God, and that is that kiss. That's that intimacy. He strengthens us. He gives us, you know, because out of his belly, directly to our bellies, flows a living river of water. Okay? How can we get that living river of water that flows from the throne of God? You know, God the Father is in heaven. Well, 
Holy Spirit lives on the inside of us. If you've made Jesus the boss of your life, then Holy Spirit is on the inside of you. Okay? He is connected to God. Therefore, we're connected to God. And so that stream flows. That river flows directly to us. But it needs to th flow through us and out to other people. Which means we can't block it up by unforgiveness. We can't block it up by... um you know, different situations that can happen. We've got to continue to release, repent, love, those kinds of things. And I'm talking to myself here because it's for everyone. It's a daily choice and decision to go on like that. Um, also, from that river, there's three vital things I keep telling people that you're going to get from the river. You are going to get the peace of God that passes all understanding in situations. When others uh, may be falling apart, they look at you and go, what on earth? Amen, Pastor Gerald. Holy Ghost fire fall on us. Yes, in agreement. Totally. <laughs> Another thing you're going to get is perfect love. That's the agape love. It's not human love. It's the love that can never fail. It's the love that keeps on loving. Okay? And then the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Intimacy. You can't have joy if you're not spending time with the Lord. He is our source of joy. He's our source of strength. So let me encourage you, get in your word, get in your time with the Lord, sing, dance, whatever it is you do, okay, to enter in, to thank him, start out with thanking him, thank you Jesus, and start just telling the Father how awesome he is, and different things he is, okay, and just love on Holy Spirit, and just also tell God, you know, what he's done in your own life. God already knows that, but he loves it when we say, hey, daddy, look what you did. You know, don't you love that when your own children in the natural come and say, oh my gosh, thank you that you bought me this car. Or, oh my gosh, thank you. You got me this cake for my birthday. Oh, I love this birthday present. You know, wouldn't it be awful? How many of us have done that though? I know I have in the past. Father God gives you something to show his love. Okay, to reaffirm and establish that. And then we don't go back to him with, oh my goodness, thank you, thank you. Okay, we've all been guilty of that. Hey, amen, Mr. Arthur. Thank you for the air that I breathe. You know what? The air that we breathe, I'm going to say it's his breath, his wind, because Holy Spirit is on the inside of us. Breathe a fresh new wind and fire into us, Lord God. Well, i got to get my day started. I love you all. Fire, 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 and more fire from the Lord. And you know that fire is twofold. God does things, and he does them in layers. The first layer is what? Hi there, Miss Sophia. The first layer is destroying the enemies of our soul in our atmosphere all around us. And the next uh layer and they are together they can't really be separated is that perfect love of god just showering us and wrapping us in his arms in a cloak of love and that hides us from the enemy but how do we get wrapped in his arms and in his cloak and under the shadow of his wings like the bible talks about how can we do that spending time with god we cannot cut that feature out you know, we'll get low on gas and the car will fizzle out. Right? Okay. Love you guys. Mwah. Good morning. Y'all are blessed. Powerful.